Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Stefan and I am the founder of Lotus Capital. Cyberpunk City aims to be the next big play to earn game, but will they be able to deliver? Honestly, I'm quite happy to be reviewing a legitimate project. I've uh, been getting a bit bored with these, all these scam projects and nothing nice to talk about. Um, but it's catch 22. Like if I review a legit project, you guys might assume I've been sponsored by the project. And uh, I don't feel that's something I want to do with this YouTube channel. Like I'll, I'll figure out how to, to, you know, to, to talk well about projects. But anyway, the reason I'm doing this video is because I was asked to review this project by somebody in the comments in my other videos. So we're on their website. Uh, what am I seeing? I'm seeing really nice graphics. Uh, they have a gallery news white paper. They're also launching through a launch pad, which is a good sign. I've really taken a look at this launch pad and they are not like pink cell. <laughs> They're like the official launch pad belonging to the uh, chain that they're launching with, which is really good. A really good sign. Uh, are you ready to get started? Yeah. Because where the story begins, Cyberpunk City is an upcoming massive multiplayer online role-playing game that surrounds the metaverse from creative tools to true up digital ownership. Cool. I mean, this is already looking like a game that I would play. No, <laughs> I'm a gamer and I love games. You no, know, I've, I've got Axie Infinity and I just don't play Axie Infinity. And I knowingly brought these Axies because I felt like it would be a good investment, you know, just wait five or 10 years. And my Axies would probably be worth a lot more than 10 years from now. Anyway, so own the game. One of Cyberpunk City's many unique features is the own the game concept behind it. We developed this concept to combat the rapid inflation caused by the play to earn system. To put it simply, by owning an NFT, you get to own the game. Hmm. Yeah, like uh, the NFTs have roles inside the game. So it reminds me like you online to play again a lot like you socialize it's looking really promising to be part of a revolution join their community and here's their team and it's a pity they haven't really fully doxed their team because i would love to know their background like you know, who, who they are, what do they previously do, what is their inspiration, like, why are they motivated? And it's a small team as well, which concerns me. Like, taking on this kind of game is, it's a huge project. Like, uh, you know, AAA games, they, they, hundreds of millions are spent on them now. News. They have in game footage. I, the thing I like here is this they're going to work with Unreal and Blender. So they're showing like the realistic technology <laughs> that they're going to, to be developing the game on. Which I like. I really like their white paper, like, uh, in comparison to some other projects I've been through recently. They don't have any fluffy words. They get straight to it and it's all relating to their project. I really like how they talk about the Elrond uh, blockchain and Unreal Engine 5. So definitely it's going to be a real game. Like they're using Unreal 5. I like. And we're going to take a look at their roadmap. Everything's really good. Like they talk about 
the uh, how the market or the economics of the game will work. It was uh, on the economy here is on page page twelve. So you have citizens, managers, investors. So it really reminds me like Eve. Or at least what I know about Eve, because I've never ever gotten into this game Eve. Just saying the truth. When I was younger, a teenager, I, I played space games, but I don't know when I was 18, I didn't. But anyway, who cares? But their roadmap. Let's take a look at their roadmap. So Q4 2021 is when they started. So they assembled the team. Integration of community projects into our city in Q1 of 2022. Huh. So they're going to have a city NFT reveal in Q2. Token airdrops. I, I, from what I know, they're pretty much following through on their roadmap. But the thing that concerns me and I think they know this as well, is they're really taking on this massive project. Like, in Q4, they can only promise to deliver the the MVP, minimum viable projects. So that's not even beta version of the pro project or the product. They're, they're at the first stage, which is MVP. And I wonder what the state of the game will be in Q4. And, you know, if they, if they, you know, the kind of people who are going to play this game have such high expectations and they can't manage the expectations of players. It's, I, I mean, I'm concerned for them. I, I'm, I hope as well, you know, these kind of products, they're full of, they're very complicated. They're full of bugs and they have a lot of problems. Like, it's very complicated to develop these kind of games. And they can't even set a timeline for when at least the beta or, or the alpha release will be. Which again, I appreciate, like, they're not setting unrealistic, um, unrealistic uh, expectations. But that's my concern is, uh, you know, they're taking on this huge project and I see a very small team is going to deliver on it. Here is their uh, Twitter profile. Unfortunately, they have to use an underscore in their username, which sucks. I'm sure they didn't like that. Uh, 4,000 followers. And I believe that it's uh, organic, <laughs> real followers, not fake. Wow. And we've got gameplay footage. And this game's looking to be really good. I just hope. I mean, I just need to be able to play it myself. I think that's the thing with this game is they're really, I'm really excited. I would definitely buy this game for 50 bucks. I wish I spent, <laughs> I mean, how much I spent on Axie Infinity? Probably around 300 bucks buying my Axies because you know, all the ridiculous taxis on Ethereum. And this game looks really, really good. Like, but yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I, I really need to be able to play it myself to feel like, you know, the, the bugs, it's day, how stable it is. You know, it's an online game. So me, I'm in Vietnam. So am I going to be able to, to, I mean, what kind of ping am I going to have? What I'm wondering. Okay, let's take a look at what's else on their page. This is how it all started. There's more gameplay footage. Oh, it's uh, from, uh, from Aaron. Cool. 
Yeah, phase two sold out. I mean, these guys definitely have uh, investors. I mean, they definitely have private investors <laughs> with the current market condition. And their Twitter looks really good. Their engagement looks really good. Have a look at the white this contest. What kind of reaction? Okay, tag. Yeah, everything looks really genuine. Everything looks really good. One of the things I like about the launch pad, it's private. So it's not like pink cell, you know, where anybody can go through it. You actually have to be uh, vetted by the launch pad, which is something similar to what I do in Lotus Capital. Um, like I'm not familiar with Erlon. Like I'm not a pre sell trader. I'm not, I'm not some, person from the crypto industry, my background's in marketing. But yeah, I mean everything looks legit here. It, it would be nice to know about the team. Like if if I knew more about the team I could feel more comfortable that the type of game and product they can deliver would be more stable. You know, obviously if they have backgrounds in the game industry or they've made similar products you know, for whatever reason like uh that would make me feel much more better but yeah i mean their pre-sale i'm very i really like the fact they aren't they're launching through a through a closed launch pad and they're not going through something like pink uh pink cell so i'm really excited about this game and its potential but my only concern is, will they be able to deliver on such a, a really massive project? I would feel much more reassured if I knew more about the team and their experience or background in the games industry. And, you know, that would make me feel much more confident that if I buy now, uh, I'm getting a, a really cheap price into what's going to be an awesome, fantastic game or, to, you know, to join into what will be something really amazing. Personally speaking, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on it because n not because I think it's going to be a scam or like they're not going to deliver on the product. I'm going to wait because I want to see the type of product they're going to deliver. I want to know as a gamer myself, like I'm not going to, you know, uh, have so much expectations. Like if I buy now, I'm going to have this massive expectation, massive hype, you know, of what's going to come. And then when, when it finally comes, like if it's full of bugs and whatever, I'm going to be really disappointed. So I would rather wait, see the product they do deliver. Hopefully the MVP comes out. I mean, when it comes out, it's uh, going to look hopefully fantastic.